What's going on everybody? Greg here with Wilson's Orchard and Farm. We're back with another video, uh, this time to introduce our newest specialty, which is our rosé cider. What we love about this cider is that instead of using, say, hibiscus or whatnot to color the, the cider into that beautiful rosé color, we're actually using uh, fruits uh, from the harvest before. This particular iteration, our first one, is using blackberries and aronia berries. So at the end of last harvest, we had a surplus of berries sitting up at the farm market, and we thought what better way to not let them go to waste than to make a cider. We took those blackberries that we had, hand crushed them, blended them with some apple juice that's fresh off the press, and let them ferment with a, a champagne yeast over the winter. And what we were left with is this bright, fruity expression of, of really just deep, fruity notes from the skins of the berry. And, and, and this beautiful tartness that you get from, from, from the blackberry. We also use aronia berries from a local farmer following the same process. And that in this cider brings a lot of nice tan and your, your palate's gonna get dried out uh, as, at the end of this drink. We think it's really important. The sort of ethos that we're trying to live by here is sustainability in, in all things we do. And, and we think taking fruit that we grow here at the orchard, not just the apples, and finding ways to use them in, in, in different avenues to get them to, to you, the end consumer. Um, one thing you'll notice right off the bat is, is this beautiful red color. Uh, and that is coming again from fermenting directly on the whole fruit. Uh, we're not using uh, juice and fermenting, it's literally getting that color from the skins uh, and obviously a little bit of the juice from, from those berries. The other thing you'll notice is it's unfiltered. That's one thing we're trying to focus on on these specialty ciders is trying to intervene as little as possible in the process. It's a lot of fun for me. Honestly, this is my first time executing a co-fermented cider and really just to, to find out what the end product's gonna be. And I think in this particular product, the unfiltered brings you a lot more of that nuance from the berries. Taste-wise, as with most of what I do, uh, I try to make it pretty well balanced. This one with the tartness of the blackberries coming into play, I did end up adding a little bit more apple juice than I do on the, the other specialties. But again, looking for a very balanced drink, uh, you're gonna get punched up front with just truly just berry. I'm, uh, you're gonna get tired of me saying berry, but it, it tastes like berry. Uh, blackberry and arona berry mixed together. And you ride through the palate with this nice sharpness. It hits you in the mid palate with this nice sharpness and then finishes with that drying sensation again that I said before of the of the aronia berry. So nice balanced sip that leaves you, you know, wanting to come back for more. One thing you may not know here at Wilson's Farm, we are planting more diverse crops, which is important to us when we talk about ecological diversity and sustainability. We want to bring more diversity to the land, and that comes with different crops that, that grow, harvest at different times. This year, we've planted red raspberries and blueberries. As many of you know, we, we already have strawberries rolling. And one thing that I look forward to as a cider maker here is to bring those fruits that we grow into more diverse offering in our specialty series. As we continue to grow here at Wilson's Origin Farm, one of the core concepts that will remain is sustainability. And co-ferments like this rosé are an extension of those sustainable practices.